Alright, you guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be making a video telling you my predictions on what I think they're going to be putting in the iPod Touch 4th generation, which should be coming out uh, sometime in September. So, I have my iPod Touch 1st gen here, still using it. I've had it for over two years. And uh, so I think they're going to be making a lot of changes from this iPod to the one that's coming out in about a month or uh, half a month. So the one of the big uh, additions to the iPhone 4 was the Retina display and I think that will be making an appearance on the iPod Touch 4th generation or iPod Touch 4 whatever they're going to decide to call it. Uh, basically the Retina display is a very high res screen and it's going to make the iPod Touch even better of a gaming device. It's going to make it easier to browse web pages and just overall a way better device because the screen is obviously a very important thing. Also, I think there you might be putting a camera on the device, but there's reason not to because a camera means a mic and a mic means it could be used as a calling device which is going to make it closer to the iPhone. So, I still think they're going to put a low megapixel camera on the front because they want to get more users on FaceTime and just make it a like make the service a little bit bigger. Um I don't think that there is going to be a data plan, which the you know the iPad has a data plan where uh, you can make a month plan to have internet service from AT and T. That will definitely make the iPod Touch way too close to uh, the iPhone, and then it will be it'll have a mic and they'll have the uh, the internet service wherever. So it's basically just an iPhone. So no data plan. Uh, the iPod Nano has the FM radio. There's a chance this might be appearing in the iPod Touch 4, but a reason not to is because there's apps like Pandora Radio, which are similar to an FM radio, and it may not be needed, but it would be an added feature that would get probably a few people to buy it. Also, everyone knows about the infamous Chrome back. You can't really see it because I have a Griffin case on my iPod, but... uh. The chrome back scratches when you put it pretty much anywhere, so I think that they might be putting a matte silver backing, which is on the iPad on the 4th gen, which would be really nice because it's pretty much scratch resistant and it still looks pretty cool, even though the chrome does look amazing when it's uh, not scratched. Um, in, in terms of internal specs, I think that there is going to be the A4 chip, which is clocked at, I believe, 1 gigahertz, so that'll be really fast for loading applications and whatever you're going to do. Uh, it's Apple's custom chip which is in uh, the uh, iPad and the iPhone 4 so I don't see why they wouldn't put it in their new iPod Touch. I think they're going to upgrade the RAM to 512 megabytes which would make it a lot faster also and I think that they're going to put the gyroscope in it which is essentially a upgraded accelerometer where Usually you can use the accelerometer for this, but it'll allow it to recognize motions back and forth, side to side, things like that, which will uh, be good in gaming and who knows how else they'll use it. So this is all just speculation, so don't necessarily take my word for what I'm telling you. Um, some more things I need to mention are the pricing and the gigabyte size. I think that the price will probably either stay where it is or go up a little bit because they're putting if they're gonna put all these features in it they cannot lower the price it's gonna be if they do it's gonna be an insane deal so I think that they're gonna keep it at around I think they're gonna do away with the 8 gigabyte and just make it 1632 and 64 and the starting price might be three hundred dollars for the 16 gigabyte um, and maybe they'll keep a downgraded uh, 8 gigabyte version of the third gen for uh, $200. It's probably what they're going to do. And um, as far as memory, I already said that the maximum memory would be 64 gigabytes of solid state drive because any more than that in a portable device gets pretty crazy. So uh, that's about it. I hope this helped. Thanks for watching.